Welcome to Acting Tips for American Actors. There are hundreds and hundreds of different tips in the films on this channel for actors, but this particular film is all about tips for auditions. The first tip may seem a little general, but it starts off the whole process, and that's please try not to think of the audition as being the most important thing in the world as though it's the only audition you'll ever get. If you don't get this audition, you're finished. Now, there's another film on this channel which deals with how to get auditions. But try not to think of the audition as being incredibly important. This is the second tip. When you go into the room, it's never going to be exactly as you expect it to be. There's always going to be some bloody thing that's a bit strange. There's going to be more people than you expect to be there, or less, when you expected the director, there's going to be just some young assistant, or there's not going to be as much space, or it's not going to be well lit, or it's going to be cold, or there aren't going to be any chairs when you wanted some. There's going to be something that you didn't expect. It's not like going onto a film set and doing a performance, or onto a stage and doing a performance, when you know in advance exactly where everything's going to be. So when you go into the room to begin with, be ready for anything. The next tip is be friendly from the start. Thank them for seeing you. Thanks so much for seeing me. It's a simple enough thing to say. And it may sound a little bit gushy to you, but 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 actors won't say this. And they've been sitting through all these people all morning. They're tired. They're probably bored. And... Someone walks in who seems grateful to have been given the audition. And it's a good start. Fourth tip is you might extend this friendliness. Look up in advance what the company's done, who they've worked with, what plays they've done, what plays they're going to do. And with any luck, you'll have some sort of a link with them. You will have worked with some actor they've employed before or you'll admire some actor they've worked with, or you'll have done some play, or admired some play that they've done in the past. There'll be some sort of a link you have. And you could say, I, I just wanted to say how much I admired you for having done that play. It's so few people do it nowadays. Or I so wish I'd been around when you were auditioning for that particular production because I'd so loved to have been in it. Or I so admire that actor you worked with. Or just something. Just establish a kind of link. And already you're in way ahead of 99 out of 100 of the actors they're seeing. The next tip is don't carry anything with you into the audition room, except perhaps a spare CV and photograph and the script. OK, next tip. Your audition speech, if this is for a play. Please, I am praying for this one. Please, please, please keep the speech down to a minute in length. An absolute maximum of a minute and a half. This is really important. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how good you manage to be for the extra half minute. They will have made up their mind about you fairly early on in the speech. And they are tired. If they want to know more about you... Then they've got the opportunity, they've got the time to ask you a question. Maybe to ask you to do another speech. When you're doing a speech, don't direct it at the person who's auditioning. Don't look into their eyes and treat them as being the other person in the scene. Because they want to be able to judge you. And they can't judge you if they feel they're in the scene with you and they ought to react to you as the other character or something. So don't deliver it straight to them. Deliver it over their heads or to their sides or wherever you like, but to someone over there, just not directly at them, please. Going back to this business of being friendly, when they ask you a question, which with any luck, if they're interested, they will. They'll say... Oh, I see you worked with so-and-so, or you played this part, or what sort of parts do you like playing, or what do you think of the role, or they could ask anything. Don't answer by just saying, oh, I 
he was really cool. I think it's really interesting. Yeah, it's lovely. Don't keep it short like this. This is your opportunity to land the job. So be friendly and answer the question fully. Say what you think of the part. Be ready to answer questions about who you've worked with and what that part was like or why you want to do the play. And at the end of the audition, thank them, turn, head up, walk to the door, turn back, have a nice day, turn, walk out. Keep it friendly. Nine out of ten people won't do it. Nine out of ten people won't get the job. Now there's one other very important thing for you to do. <laughs> and that is, you want to act well. You want to be prepared. You want to know how to express yourself clearly in the role. And for that, the more experience you have, the better. The more understanding you have of different kinds of parts, the better. And I'm afraid I'm pushing you to watch other films on this channel in order to learn more. Not because I'm suggesting you should be interested in Shakespeare or Harold Pinter or other writers that I deal with, mainly British ones, but because there's just so much to learn about confidence about speaking clearly, about how to learn lines, about lots of things. So I respectfully suggest that you look at the channels. And one more suggestion here while I'm on this subject. Um, there's quite a lot to be made for American actors out of being able to play British. If you can play British as well, then agents are going to be more interested in it, in you. Casting directors are going to be more interested in you. It's a real plus. It makes you a more attractive person to have around in their company, on their books. If you want to be able to play British, then you want to be able to do it well. And most of these channels explore that subject and really show you how to do a good British accent, how to behave as though you're really British. And they will teach you things about being American as well. And I also work on Shakespeare in one of the channels, and I certainly don't expect you to do Shakespeare with a British accent. Why the hell should you? No, that's, that's fine. Do it with an American accent. But I, I deal with the subject of Shakespeare, and I'm just saying that there are other films here for you to learn more. So there we are. There's a set of tips for auditions. Mainly, be friendly and, you know, that's it. Be friendly.